All right, so I have my Magnum X5 by Craco. I'm gonna take it out of the box, show you some features, then I'm gonna set it up and then I'm gonna use it and I will do the clean out as well in this video, uh, showing you how to clean it out. First time I've used it, I'm using a water-based paint. Uh, you can use mineral spirit-based paints in the sprayer as well. So come on along and let's go ahead and take a look at the Magnum X5. Yeah. Uh, here's the uh, pump unit with its connectors for getting into your buckets, the sprayer and its nozzle. Uh, here's some cleaning material for a clean out and a 25 foot Duraflex high pressure hose, the owner's manual, and a really cool laminated Magnum Quick Guide because I've never used this. I'm sure I'm going to have to have it with me. And you've got the requirement for a grounded cord. And here's your power switch on, off. Okay, so here's your pressure knob. This is a recommendation for starting by turning it counterclockwise. You go down to very low pressure. By turning it fully clockwise, you get it to its highest pressure setting. Here is the spray and prime toggle. In this position, it's spray, it's down. Up is for priming your sprayer. When you're priming your pump and your sprayer, you want to turn this to the up position for prime and then come over here and push this button twice. Atop your spray nozzle there's a toggle here you can see that this arrow is forward and you can see the spray pattern that's for when you're spraying but let's say you inadvertently get a clog you would go ahead and turn off this into the off position so this doesn't come down and you rotate this toggle switch backwards and remember you know you're, you're spraying at 2800 psi 3000 psi you know you don't want to get blasted by the front of this gun so be, be real careful and the final item in the box is this garden hose connector this is where your garden hose connects and you feed this into where your suction tube is down here and you turn it on and let the water flow through to clean it out and I'll be showing you that at the toward the end of this video and your hose connection. It's started and it requires an 11 16 inch wrench to tighten it up. Getting ready to prime the Magnum X5. Here's the uh, water that's clean and here's the waste bucket and we're ready to go. First step is separate the drain tube from the suction tube and the suction tube here we go. This suction tube goes into the clean water bucket and this is going to go into the waste. My next step is to lift the prime valve and it's over here and I'm lifting it up. Now I'm going to reach down and push this prime valve button twice. One, two, and then I'm going to rotate this two the start position this is your pressure nozzle and there we go we got it right to the start turning on the power and i'm going to watch for fluid to be drawn in and here it comes hopefully you can see that and it's it's exiting here and here it's exiting into the waste bucket let it run for about uh, 30 to 60 seconds it's been about a minute, so I'm going to shut it off. Now we're going to submerge the suction tube into the paint. We're going to turn the power switch on and watch for paint to come out. So we're waiting for the paint. switch to spray and we're going to turn the sprayer on and once again we have this rotated to unclog and we've 
got paint coming out. We're good to go. Now that we've got that step done, we're going to go ahead and attach this. We're good to go. We're ready to spray now. You can still see we're in the unclogged position, so I'm going to rotate this to the unclogged position, and I have a piece of cardboard set up there. And I'm going to disengage the safety. Give it a shot. I've never used this sprayer, so it's all going to be new to me. I want to give it a practice shot here. Yeah, it's good. I've got it set. You know, I'm looking for 2,000 PSI. That's the recommendation, so I'm just a little bit above start. Okay, like what I see. Okay, I've got my first coat on and we're going to go ahead and do a cleanup. This is going to go into the waste pail. The power's off. I'm going to go ahead and disengage this. And Pressure is gone. We're going to engage the trigger lock and we're going to take off the uh, spray nozzle. The water is live. I just need to flip this switch, turn it to the start position, and flip it up to the prime position here. And I'm going to go ahead and open up the nozzle. Looking uh, much better. I'm going to go ahead and shut this down and go to the next step. Okay. Turn on the power about power switch and the water is really clear. I think it's clean and good. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going to clear the gun. Disengage the trigger. the tube is now. It's uh, flush. Everything's coming out nice and clean. Looks good to me. So there it is. It's clean and ready to be put away. You can see it looks pretty good. It's all cleaned up and it's short-term cleaning. You'd add a fluid to it if you're going to store it for long-term, but I'm not. And I'll be back at this job tomorrow with a five-gallon bucket of paint to finish off that base coat. The Graco Magnum X5 greatly assisted in moving the job along. The sprayer was smooth and consistent. Given its cost, this tool was worth the investment. 
I've included images of the quick guide at the end in case you have any questions. Thanks for watching.